escape. Not bad, Kian. You did well out there today. Thank you, Master, but your praise shames me. The light of the goddess blinds my opponents and guides my sword to victory. Your skill with the sword is unmatched, Kian, and so is your faith, but the one does not equate with the other. What do you mean, Master? Your devotion to your faith and your prowess with a blade should never be confused. Religion and war makes as well as dry grass and a flaming torch. How can that be? I hold my sword in the name of my faith, and my faith is the shield that protects me from harm. They are like two rings intertwined. Or like a pair of snakes eating each other's tails. Don't be blinded by rhetoric, Kian. I've taught you better than that. But the mission, Garmon. Politics! When did you become a woman? Your dedication to the mission is a waste of your potential and your time. With great talent comes great responsibility. You could be a powerful man, Kian. Instead, you've chosen life as a puppet. A puppet! Well, you've never approved of my calling. But I have pledged my life to the Goddess, and I have vowed to protect her word. The word of the Goddess does not require your protection, and you have pledged your life to the Six, not the Goddess. Don't confuse the two. On this, we will never see eye to eye, Master. I am an Apostle of the Faith, and I have... A thousand pardons, Apostle. Excuse me, Master. Yes, child Anna. The six require your presence, Apostle. When? My apologies, Apostle. They said to bring you immediately. Thank you. Master, forgive me. Of course, Kian. You're excused. We will continue practice without you. Amadon! Nozan! Into the ring! And try not to swing your swords like shy little schoolgirls this time around! Please, Apostle, we must hurry. You Follow look me, like Apostle. Two lovers out for a stroll in the moonlight! Fight! Don't dance! They are waiting, Apostle. Apostle, our apologies for calling you away while you were training. We know that you are busy with the initiates, but this could not wait. We have just had word from our armies in the east, and it worries us deeply. Our dearest Apostle, we have a very important task for you. Yes, Mistress. Apostle, you know how some Eastlanders still resist our noble efforts at uniting their fractured nations and bringing the word to their goddessless lives. The mission continues unabated, of course. Nothing shall stand between the glory of the Goddess and those lost ones who have strayed from her light. But still there are a few who have chosen to oppose us. Those misguided pagans have become a dangerous obstacle in the path. Apostle Kian, we need you to travel east to those heathen lands, to bring the word to the heretics. 
There is a man who leads these rebellious few, these insurgents. A man whose hands are soiled with the blood of many trueborn. A Deoman. You must travel tonight to the Haven's Apostle and board a cloud ship bound for the city of Mercuria. When you reach your destination, you will seek out this man, this... this butcher. They call him the Scorpion. You must seek him out, and you must convert him. By the letting of his blood, he shall be reborn into the next life, where he may find forgiveness in the glory of the Goddess. Find this rebel leader, this Scorpion, and let your blade kiss his throat. This is your mission, Kian Alvane. As you please, mistress. Your word is my path. You will leave now with haste. May the goddess be with you, apostle. And mind the scorpion does not sting you before you sting him. I shall be vigilant, mistress. Blessed be the goddess. Blessed be the path. Blessed be the word. Blessed be the mission. Can we trust him? If not him, then who? He is our most faithful apostle. He knows not to question our word. He will complete his mission. The prophet was adamant. There is much resting on this task. It is the last obstacle, the prophet said. When it is done... The light of the goddess will wash across the world like a tidal wave, drowning all those who lack faith. May that day come swiftly. And may the Goddess aid the Apostle in his mission. The future of our Empire rests on his shoulders now. Field. I am being sent to the Havens tonight, Master. A cloud ship will take me east across the ocean. I must leave with haste. With haste? I see. Another heathen who needs converting. There's great darkness in this world. Is it not our duty to illuminate the darkness with the light of the Goddess? We cannot make the sun rise in the dead of night, Kian. Like everyone else, we must wait for dawn. Must we have this discussion again, Master? It seems to me you question everything I believe in. Not so, Kian. You know I'm a man of faith. What I am questioning is our right to impose our faith on others. I've been to these eastern lands and they... And is it not a place full of darkness and sin? Would it not be better off under the guiding light of our faith and the mercy of the Goddess? What would you have me answer? There is indeed arrogance, oppression, murder and fear in those lands. But there's also beauty, freedom, and humility. And the brightest day has the darkest shadows, Kian. Remember that. I must depart now, Master. The cloud ship leaves the havens at first light, and my duty beckons. Duty or no duty, do only what you yourself believe to be right, and not what others tell you is right. I'll see you when you get back. You can tell me all about the Eastlanders, and how you rescued their maidens from a life of sin. May you walk with the goddess, Kia. And the light of the goddess upon you, Master Kama. You all right, girl? Where... Where am I? You're still at the Friends. You don't remember? I don't know. I... Uh, how did I get back here? Back? You haven't moved all night. A couple of guests found you passed out. You were drugged. What? That's what it looks like. I checked the cameras, but there was nothing on them. The crystals were wiped. When we found you last night, I called a friend of mine. A doctor. She came by and checked you out. She said you were on some kind of synth, but that you'd sleep it off. So I closed the room and kept an eye on you all night. That's not possible. I was... 
Somewhere else. April. She... What? I met April. April Ryan. I was in Arcadia, the place she spoke about. I was there. So... So I couldn't possibly have been here. Zoe, look, I've been checking in on you every 15 minutes all night long. You couldn't have gone anywhere without me noticing. You were fed some kind of hallucinogenic. You've probably been having very vivid dreams. That's impossible. I was there. I spoke with April. She was... She wasn't very cooperative. But I did speak with her. All I know is that you've been sleeping right here since we found you. You left Emma and me at the table to make a call. Twenty minutes later, some guests found you passed out in the booth. They gave up their reservation quite willingly. They didn't want to get involved. Sorry about that. Sorry? Girl, it's not your fault that someone drugged you. But you might want to consider getting out of this before you get hurt. I can't just abandon Reza. I'm sure he doesn't want you to put yourself at risk like this. Did you see whoever did this to me? You don't remember anything? No. Last night's a blur. The first thing I remember is waking up in... No, I don't remember anything from the fringe. I didn't see anyone. But apparently our friend Marcus Crozier checked in just before the incident. And he brought two guests. Wait. I remember... Part of it. Marcus. The twins. Twins? They're working together. They were in Reza's apartment back in Casablanca, and they were here last night. So they must have been the ones who drugged you. Maybe. But I don't understand why they didn't just... kill me. I mean, that's the second time they've attacked me, and I'm still walking. If there's one thing I've learned, it's not to look a gift horse in the mouth. You're alive. Don't ask too many questions. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should just go home while I'm still... After all, Mark has turned out to be a big mistake on my part. And if Reza's gotten himself into something really dangerous... Besides, I don't know where to go from here. I might as well head back to Casablanca and wait for Reza to get in touch with me. That sounds like a good idea, girl. How do you feel? A bit woozy. But pretty good, considering. Did Emma leave already? Early this morning. She has a show later today in Moscow. I promised I'd keep her updated. So what are you going to tell her? I don't know. What you just told me, I guess. Who knows? Even if it was a dream, maybe you really did speak with April. It felt real enough. I don't know. I need to sort things out in my head. I guess I will go home. I don't feel like crossing paths with Marcus or the twins again. They were probably just trying to scare you. Your friend seems to be onto a pretty big story. Yeah. I just hope that... Ow. You okay, Zoe? Just my head. Yeah, I'm okay. You can stay here as long as you need to. And I can call my doctor friend again. No need to go to a hospital. No. I should go home. Thanks, Charlie. I really appreciate it. No problem, girl. Drop by if you're ever in town again, and keep me updated if you find your friend or if you... if you hear from April. I will, Charlie. Thanks for everything. Hola, sweetie. It's me. Where are you? Hi, Liv. 
I'm still in Newport, but I'm on my way home. Any news? Yes, you're going to Japan. Japan? I decrypted Reza's notes. Well, most of them. Okay, some of them. I'm still working on it, but I found out that he was investigating Watty Corp. Watty Corp? Really? My God, that's... that's pretty huge. What was he investigating? Don't know yet, sweetie, but he was in contact with two people at Watty, one of whom was the dead girl in his apartment. From his notes, my guess is that after leaving Newport, he would be heading to Wati City on the island of Hokkaido in northern Japan. That's where Wati Corp HQ is located. That's also everything I've got so far, I'm afraid. I'll keep working on Reza's notes, and I'll have more info for you when you get there. You mean Japan? You know, I'd try and convince you not to go, but you seemed pretty set on tracking Reza down, and all signs point to Japan. I know. I have to keep going. I... I can't give up. Not now, not this time. This is too important. If I quit... Is everything all right, Zoe? Yes and no. I'm fine. I'm not hurt or anything, but... Things have happened. I don't have time to get into it right now. But it'll make a hell of a story someday. As long as you're okay, sweetie. Like I said, I'll keep working on the notepad and I'll call you when you get to Watty City. Safe journey. All right, Liv. Take care. All right, so tell me about the tower. It is as most things, Azadi. Large, wasteful, and arrogant. I have never seen its like. They are building a ladder to the heavens. Maybe it's a temple of sorts. I may not know a lot about the enemy, but they're pretty religious. To call the Azadi religious would be like calling the sun warm. Their faith is all they have. If we shake that, the war is ours. I don't think that's a viable strategy, Chuan. But it's good to know that they have a weakness. Faith is a double-edged sword. This tower of theirs may be another weakness. When I was there earlier, I noticed they were still building. They have put up wooden platforms for the workers to climb. Scaffolds. Next to the tower? On the tower. If one were to climb it, one might find a way into the tower. Perfect. I need to check it out for myself. That tower must be very important to the Azadi. And like you said, it could be another weakness of theirs. You will go alone. I need to. If there are more of us, it... We are easier to spot. And if you are caught, someone still needs to return to the city with the supplies. That is our mission. That's our mission, Chuan. I'll be back before dawn. Watch your back, Raven. <laughs> 